What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're at it, smash that like button. I really would appreciate it. Also, hit that post notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Be careful down in the comment section of the videos. A lot of spam, a lot of scammers. I will never ask you to contact me by WhatsApp or Telegram. I also do not invest money for my subscribers and I do not offer an investment trading program. So please be careful. Don't get yourself scammed. If you want up to 12 free stocks, Weeble is going to give you up to 12 free stocks. When you open a new Weeble brokerage account, put at least $100 in that brokerage account. They're going to give you up to 12 free stocks for just trying out their brokerage app. There's a link down in the description box of the video. Go click on that Weeble link. Open up your new brokerage account today. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. In today's video, guys, I want to talk to you about seven things you should not buy in 2023 if you want to get to your financial freedom at some point in the future. These seven things will keep you broke and they will make someone else wealthy instead of you. Number one, do not buy designer clothes, shoes, or bags in 2023. You're making someone else wealthy, guys. You're not gonna make yourself wealthy by doing that. It may make you feel good because you got a nice outfit on and you got the nice new bag or you got a nice pair of shoes on, but the only people you're making wealthy is Christian Dior, Gucci, Fendi, Louis Vuitton. You're making those companies wealthy, man. They're already wealthy. They're already billion dollar companies. Why not take that money and redirect it to make yourself wealthy by buying ETFs and index funds that track the S&P 500 and the total stock market. Why not take that money and put it there? And over time, it will create wealth for you. Number two, lottery tickets. Don't do it, guys. It's a trap. You are not gonna win the lottery. Not a significant enough amount of money that it will take care of you for the rest of your life. The odds are stacked against you. Matter of fact, it's 300 million to one, you winning the Powerball. And I get it. Powerball gets to 100 million, 200 million. You say, what the heck? I'm going to drop five or 10 bucks. Problem is, when you drop that five or 10 bucks, now you're prone to want to drop that five or 10 bucks more and more and more. My recommendation is take that five or 10 bucks and redirect it to making you wealthy. Like I said, guys, the odds are stacked against you. You're more likely to get struck by lightning twice in the same spot than win the lottery. Don't do it in 2023. Take those dollars, redirect them to investments that make you wealthy. Number three, going out to eat. Don't do it, guys. Go to the grocery store. Buy your groceries. Take them home cook them. You spend two, three, four hundred dollars a month going out to eat, guys. That's money. You could be investing in assets to build your wealth. I get it. We all want a break from cooking. We all want a, a break to get out and enjoy life. That's okay. We just can't do it at an excessive level, which we're doing right now. That's what the statistics say. Average Americans are going out to eat three to four times per week. That's too much. Stop doing that. Take that money, like I said, redirect it. Buy investments, buy assets that create long-term wealth for yourself. You will thank yourself in the future for that. Number four, excessive traveling. We spend way too much money in this country traveling. Not one trip a, a, a year, some of us go on five, six, seven trips a year. And the problem with that is we're not funding that and paying for that 
through our assets. The majority of us are taking money from our active income and we're paying for these trips. Instead of taking that money from active income and investing it into assets that build wealth, we are taking our active income, taking these trips and making somebody else wealthy. That's what we're doing. And guys, that's not what we should be doing with our money. Not if we want to get to financial freedom. If you're taking three, four, five trips a year, you got to cut down on that in 2023. Cut down on it. Maybe take one trip a year and then take those other three trips you would have taken, the money that you'll save from that and invest it. Like I said, invest it in assets that build wealth for you, man. Don't build wealth for somebody else in 2023. Only build wealth for yourself. Number five, bank fees and check cashing fees. This is another big one, guys. There is no reason in 2023 we should be paying any bank fees. There are too many options out there for free banking. You just have to do some due diligence to find them. Credit unions are a great place to bank. They don't charge all of these excessive bank fees, right? Shouldn't be paying a monthly maintenance fee to have your money in a bank. You shouldn't be paying overdraft fees if you got a budget and you understand what money is coming in and what's going out, you wouldn't have overdrafts. Shouldn't be paying ATM fees. Again, it's all about planning and budgeting. Check cashing fees. That's a huge one, right? These check cashing places make so much money. And where do you find them at? You find them in areas where people have low income. You don't find check cashing places in wealthy neighborhoods. No, you find them in neighborhoods where people have lower income. And I call it predatory practices because they prey on these people who may not have a traditional bank account to be able to do their check deposits and check withdrawals. They, they prey on these people. So please be careful, guys. Get yourself in a position where you can get you a traditional bank account. Put yourself in a position where you're not paying these check cashing fees. They're very excessive, guys. So please be careful there. Number six, buying cars you can't afford. That's another huge one, guys. We, for some reason, feel like buying a new car or a car that's too expensive for us to afford is status. It just keeps you poor and broke. Why not just get a regular dependable 10 or $15,000 car as opposed to going out buying a 50, 60, 70, $80,000 car to try to show that you're successful when you're really not. That's not success, guys. Success is when you have assets that generate enough passive income to take care of your lifestyle. That's financial success. You spending fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars on some car and can barely make the monthly payments is not success. It's making somebody else wealthy. And we need to stop that in 2023. So do not buy cars that do not put you in a position to build wealth. Number seven, buying a home that you can't afford. We know interest rates for fixed rate mortgage loans are through the roof, guys. We know home prices over the last couple of years have went through the roof. This is not the right time to buy a new home unless you have built your assets to the point where those assets generate enough passive income to pay for that home. Now, some of you might say, well, I need somewhere to live. Hey, nothing wrong with finding a great place to live. Just don't get outside of your budget. Just don't sacrifice buying this house you can't afford and then everything else in your life is not doing well financially. Don't be house rich and cash poor. In 2023, you need cash because you need to be buying assets that actually will grow in value and increase your net worth. A house can increase your net worth. 
But remember, a house, it's really a liability while you live in it because you gotta be taking money out of your pocket every year to take care of it. Insurance, repair and maintenance, property taxes, mortgage interest. So please don't go out and buy these houses and be house rich and cash poor in 2023. Well, there you go, guys. The seven things you should not be buying in 2023. If you want to put yourself in a position to build wealth and get to your financial freedom, drop me some comments down in the comment box and let me know what you think about those seven things. And are you spending any money right now currently on those seven things? I hope not. If you want those 12 free stocks from Weeble, click on that link down in the description box. Open up that new Weeble account today. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing, share the video, smash the like button. Thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. You guys keep chasing your greatness. Never stop believing in yourself. And I'm going to catch you on the next video. Peace. Today's video is sponsored by my company, RF Financial Consulting. And in my company, I work with individuals just like you through financial mentoring and coaching sessions. And in those one hour sessions, we talk about strategies to help you get to your financial freedom, whether it be through real estate investing, stock market investing, creating additional streams of income, credit card arbitrage, or starting and growing a business. If that's something that you might be interested in, there's an email address in the description box of the video. Send me an email and let's discuss if I'm the right fit for you.